What's up guys, Josh Luck here, and in today's video I'm going to go over color schemes and how to create one for your brand. Now I'm going to split this video into two parts, and that is the anatomy of a color scheme and how to create one yourself. So let's jump right into it and get started. So brand color schemes are important for three reasons. First of all, they create consistency within all your marketing collateral to help you stand out in the market. And second, they create memorability within your brand. So when people see your color scheme, they automatically think of your brand. It's a lot easier for people to see colors and think of you as opposed to a name or maybe a product. And then third, they subconsciously create feelings with your viewer that you want them to feel about your brand. And I'm gonna have a chart on the screen so I can uh, explain that better. But essentially, every color has feelings that associate or that this color instills within their viewer. So as example, red creates excitement, green makes people feel of like nature and healing, it's often fresh, and then blue is loyalty and trust. So let's say you're making a color scheme for a bank, you would probably wanna to lean towards blue or a cool tone color scheme because it ensures loyalty and you want people to feel confident about putting money into that bank. So now let's jump into my computer and I will break down the anatomy of a color scheme and how to choose one for yourself. So let's jump in here and get started. All right, so we're here in Illustrator and don't worry, you don't need a fancy program to create a color scheme. I'm just using this program to break down the anatomy and then we'll jump into Google Chrome or whatever web browser you use and create one for yourself. So let's jump into the anatomy real fast. So I have a color scheme up here. It's got five colors in it. And I would say five is a good number to shoot for um, because you're able to have your primary, your secondary, and then a few accent colors. So good rule of thumb, I would shoot for five colors in your scheme. Now the dominant color or the most important color um, is your first one right here, this navy blue. And this goes back to your chart. I'm gonna have it back up on the screen. Um, this color will subconsciously make your view viewer feel a certain way. Uh, so like this navy, um, it's loyalty, brand identity, um, it's under the blue category. Um, so make sure you are choosing the right primary color that fits what you want your brand to say. And now your secondary color is a color that complements your first color. It will still be used quite a bit, but not as often as your primary color. And so over here on the left, I have a color wheel. Um, if you've never seen one before, this is essentially a color wheel that helps you create or uh, helps you choose colors that go well together and if you want to pull one up for yourself you can just go to google search color wheel and it'll pull up something similar to this so colors that are directly across from each other on the wheel like this blue and orange red green yellow purple those are what's known as complementary colors colors that complement each other they have good contrast and they go well together um, the only problem with choosing those specific color schemes is many times when people are colorblind, those are the colors they can't see together. Like my dad, he can't see red and green together. Um, I think he also has trouble seeing purple and yellow. Um, so be conscientious, conscientious, is that the right word? Yeah, when choosing direct complementary colors. What I like to do is choose colors that are a little bit down from the wheel from the primary. So this blue right here would be somewhere in like this blue section right here. And the red that I chose is probably somewhere around here. So as you can see, it's just two or three notches down on the color wheel, as opposed to this orange right here. So I've pulled some examples that I've pulled directly from this color wheel of colors that complement each other, go well together. Um, this orange and, or not orange, the green and yellow. As you can see, the yellow is two notches down from the green. Uh, same for pretty much all of these. And then these over here are a bit further away, even complementary almost. So purple and yellow, um, green would be right here, and this uh, magenta is like right here. So a little bit further down the wheel, but not exactly direct complementary. And then finally, um, you have your accent colors. And I would shoot for anywhere from two to three accent colors. These are essentially high contrast colors that you'll use sparingly throughout your branding material uh, that enhance your first two colors. So my first accent color is like an orangey color um, that goes really well. Let's say I need to have like a button or a link. Um, I can use this because it really stands out on those two. And it, um, basically it's an accent. And then your final two accent colors are a bit lighter. 
These will often be used as your like background or something lighter on the page. Um, they just really help enhance these first three colors. So as you can see, they're subtle, but they complement and go well with these. So without further ado, now you know the anatomy, let's actually jump into a website called coolors.co and we will create a color scheme for yourself. All right, so we're here in coolors.co, that's C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O, and I'll probably have a link on here so you can see it. Um, this is an awesome website, and I use it all the time when doing branding projects. It's basically like an unlimited library of color palettes that you can use, and uh, we're going to jump in here and find one for you. So there's two sections to this website, Explore, which is up here, and then Generate, which is also up here. Explore is just a huge list of color palettes that you can scroll through and click on one. Um, but we're going to go to generate because that's where you can actually create a custom one for your brand with specific colors that you have in mind. So click generate and we're going to go over here to this section. All right. So when you pull it up, you'll notice, I want to hide this. Yeah. Um, you'll notice five colors. And this will basically be your color palette when we get done with it. So what you want to do is have your primary color in mind. So let's say mine is orange. No. Yeah, I'll do an orange. Actually, I'm go back to blue. Uh, so my primary color in mind is blue. What you want to do is hit the space bar until you hit a blue or whatever primary color that you're looking for that you like. And I got really lucky. And this one right here, Oxford blue, I really like that. So I think that'll be my primary color. So you want to hover over it, go down here to the lock button and lock it. And now when you hit the space bar, it'll only do, ooh, I need to go back because I actually like that back there. Um, you want to go back or um, excuse me, after you lock it, you want to keep hitting space bar to find your secondary color. And again, you can use a color wheel for reference. So it can either be a complementary color or a color just a little bit down the wheel. And then once you find one, if it's over here, you can actually drag it next to it to see how you like it. And I actually really like that. So an orange red Crayola and an Oxford blue. So I actually like that color scheme. And now once you have your primary and secondary color, keep hitting the space bar until you find your accent colors. So again, these are um, something that's high contrast and a little bit lighter than your primary and secondary color. So let me scroll through here real fast. Okay, I like that. This linen right here, I think that'll be my third complementary. Let me lock it. And then now I just need to find two more. Okay, so I'm done. I think I found a color scheme that I'm pretty happy with. So I've got my primary, which is this navy blue over here. Secondary, which is a good contrast to the primary, a uh, accent color, which will work well as like a link or a button that look really good. This yellow, I think will look really nice with this blue. Um, I've got a light gray over here. Uh, you can't see behind my face. It's called linen. And then uh, this cadet gray. And then if I don't like one, I can just unlock it, switch it out. But I think this is pretty good for now. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I think it fits. So. Uh, once you find your color scheme, you want to go up here to export, hit export, and then PDF. Um, you could give it a title, uh, branding. I can't type today. Oh my gosh. I'm just, ugh, okay, forget that. Uh, export. And then when I click on it, you can see it's a color palette with everything you should need. Ooh, this is cool. Um, they added a whole bunch of stuff to it. Um, but you can see it's got all your RGB, hex, CMYK, all the information needed for your color palette. So super easy. I hope this helped. Um, if you liked this video, uh, please leave it a, give it a thumbs up. Ooh, this video is getting long. I'm getting tongue tied and tired of talking. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. If it did, leave a like. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section below. And um, please subscribe for more. I post twice a week and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.